I get a lot of new clients asking me about a few movements that I do and what I'm going to do with them. And the best way to start sessions with clients is to get them to see how they move. And the first thing you want to know is how they do a deep squat, how they move their hips, how they keep their feet on the ground and all those things. So the first exercise is a, a squat. And why is this so important? Because a lot of people, they tend to either move the knees forward and hinge from the hip or they can move their hips back, they tend to go up on their toes. So what we're trying to do is actually get you to educate where you use your heel and glute and really engage the lower back. So it's, it's sticking the glutes out, really getting a strong spine here, holding it, knees go outwards, and then coming nice and low. So that's one movement, very simple, but effective. And then the next one to see is, is how they do an inchworm, which is pretty much touching the toes. If they haven't got the flexibility, I get them to bend their knees and then put their hands on the floor where the, wherever they can reach it. And then it's also good for seeing what their upper body strength is like as well as heart and lungs. And what you do is you lengthen the arms away from you, drop the butt down, engage the core. And you can also see if they're able to hold their core in and then pull back and then touch the toes. So, when looking at like their groin area as well and the glutes, whether they can engage the groin, groin and the glutes together, what I get them to do is something I used to do in Kung Fu and Karate and martial arts, is stepping out wide and then dropping down but enabling your heels to stay flat on the ground and then being able to switch that movement over to the other side, same thing, where you can go really nice and deep with the knee, glutes out and yet keep that, that um, gravity and hold. So those are a few movements. Then I would go through also a push-up motion just to see how they move the triceps and the push. And that's also to see what their upper body strength is like. So basically holding here and then what they're gonna do is drop down and can they keep their core strong while pushing. Obviously as we go further down the line it's gonna get more and more advanced but we wanna see basic movements, how strong they are and if they can move well.